How to give her space so she pursues you. I know that it can be hard sometimes for some men to get women to pursue them. And so one of the important things that I've noticed that a lot of my men have mastered are these tips that I'm going to tell you that they do perfectly and actually does get them results and gets women actually initiating more and giving them the chance to feel like they're pursued. This is not meaning that only the woman's going to pursue, but it does take some work from your part in the right ways, which I'm going to break down for you and make sure you stay to the end of the video because I'm going to tell you exactly also too how to do this and how to create this dynamic for you in your life moving forward. Now, if this is your first time visiting, I welcome you. My name is Apollonia Ponti. I'm a certified dating relationship and life coach, and I'm the founder of ApolloniaPonti.com. If you haven't yet, please visit my website where I have a lot of free content programs for you and coaching at ApolloniaPonti.com. Now let's get started. Well, number one in all of this is when you give a woman space so she pursues you, the tip number one is you let her process her emotions. What does this mean? Let's say that the both of you actually had an amazing date. Maybe you kissed, maybe some things happened and you got a little close. And what a lot of times what we tend to do is we tend to get overly emotional in regards to, oh my God, I like her so much. Let me text her. Let me see how she's, let me just see if I can get her out on the next date. Let's, let me just talk about yesterday all day long and you're texting and calling and you're just on this high state, right? but you're not giving her time to process her emotions about that amazing experience that she had with you, which leads me into tip number two is you don't always want to ask her, for example, Oh, did you like the date? Oh, I had fun on the date. You want to kind of be, I would say timid slash cold, but not in a way where it's manipulative. Don't hammer me, but listen me out. And here's why is because this is where you want to give her silence because not only are you processing the emotions, but you're not going to give her silence in a way where it's like, no, nope, nothing, right? I'm not going to talk to her. I'm contact her. I'm going cold Turkey. What you want to do is maybe you had a great date and you reach out to her and just ask her how her day is going. Or maybe she reached out to you and you keep it even keel as though you're just having a normal day. That date that was amazing was, is behind you now and you're just moving forward and you're not sulking and recreating those moments with her right away. Now this plays a good role in seduction when she's ready, but in the beginning stages, when you give her space, like this, it can have her wanting to pursue you more because she doesn't see you as coming off overly eager all the time. So then the balance of control can start to shift and you allow her to step into her feminine and want to be kind of gravitating towards you where she feels comfortable because you're not overbearing her with maybe seduction or emotions, but you're just pacing yourself along the process, which I always say, Pacing is the root of all attraction. So with that said, tip number three is you let her initiate the contact as well. Now here's where I'm going to give you the truth. Like I always do. You can initiate 50, 50 sometimes, but you have to also initiate a little less at times as well. Right. Show a little bit of an imbalance. Now there's going to be people that disagree with this, of course, because they're like, Oh, this is just games. This is this, this is this. Well, when someone says that, I've just noticed that maybe they just don't understand like the, the, the root, like how to attract someone. I mean, even in my partnership, when I mean, when I, my marriage, when I was dating my now husband, there would be times where he would show up and he would text me, but then there'll be times that he wouldn't text me as much some days. So I would text him more. So you want to kind of, that's what I mean is you want to kind of show that balance as well, where you give 50, 50 contact, but then sometimes you give a little less than 50 and she does maybe 60, 70% of it. And maybe you kind of like her stuff on social media, but you're texting less. Now you heart her on social media. Now, the reason why I'm doing this and I'm saying this is because I want you to do this to show her also too, that you're pacing yourself. You're getting to know her. And this is part of it because if we jump in and we're just like overly eager and always texting her and texting her and initiating more, and we're not giving her the space to process the emotions. Like I said, in tip number one, 
then we're going to mess up the attraction in the beginning. Now, I'm not saying this is difficult because it's not, because it's just natural. And I think that it can also be something that you inherit within yourself and your relationships with women or when you date women, because also too, it helps you put on a strong magnifying glass and a strong lens to really look and see what this woman has to offer you. Next thing I think that helps getting a woman to initiate more and getting her to pursue you is you do things with friends in common, possibly. Maybe you have some friends in common that she will hear through you, right? You're hanging out with some friends in common. Oh, I was just with Andrew last night and we went bowling and we did this and it was hilarious because he, uh, da, da, da. we got to do that again. He's such a cool guy, right? Now she's hearing about you through the grapevine, which is other friends. And then lastly, travel and do things with your friends see that she sees that other things are a priority except her right away, right? Because when the, this is in the beginning stages of getting her to miss you also too, but also to giving her space so she pursues you because a woman is going to also pursue you when she's interested, especially when you're dating, when you're attracting her, when you're seeing each other, some of us will call it, right? So what's important is I want you to travel. I want you to do things. I want you to connect with other people. And I want her to see that you have things going on. And also she should too. And by then you guys actually talk about when can we see each other? When would you like to do this? And then you start making adjustments and having that great date that you had before that I talked about in the beginning of this video. Now, if you want to get better at really, really embracing this, embracing this mentality, embracing this energy, I know exactly what it's going to take for you to do so. I have this free video for you that actually gives you tips on how to walk away so you can start implementing this more than ever now with not only this video, but another video that I'm going to share with you what you need to do from beginning to end so you can start to amplify exactly what women desire. So click that link below and watch that video. As always, if this is your first time joining, I thank you for being here with me. Subscribe and like and comment, and I will see you again in the next video. Remember, you are